Okay, welcome back. <laughs> so, I have these turquoise bricks. This is all that I have left over. Actually, it's lies. I do have a few more of <laughs> these. But last week we actually did a too much turquoise build. Turned out quite well considering the fact that I have really not many of these of bricks in this colour and there aren't many, like there's not much diversity in these parts. However, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to extend this build challenge and do another build challenge in turquoise. And you guys voted for the boombox couple that we put together last week. So we've got... I haven't even got names for these dudes yet, but your ideas were to give them the turquoise baby and the Mirabelle like micro dolls as twins. So that's what I'm going to do because I thought that was amazing. <laughs> we could have all these kids and yeah, but we're not doing that this week. I'm going to take them away. I can hear the cries of outrage from here, <laughs> but it didn't come together in time for this week. But what did come together is actually the other mini doll I, like this idea actually was really easy to put a build together like easy comparatively I just I promise I will do the boom box couple but today we're gonna do like a frozen alternate universe with, because we've got Elsa's coronation dress and Anna's face so those two characters smashed together to make one character like a soul daughter what would her name be? I don't know. El Elsana. Let's go with that. <laughs> and because we have actually got chameleons in turquoise, we get two brunies. So we get a bruni and brunina. Oh, this is so cute. It's like my frozen fan fiction. It's not going to make sense because it's an alternate universe, peeps. That's, that's how it's going to be rolling. So, okay. So she is the sole daughter of Arendelle, which means... Yeah, so she's, she's, the, she's the undisputed queen of Arendelle. So we need to make her a little vignette with, I don't know, maybe a throne room? Might be able to do that. I have so, I just, yeah, I'm trying to make, <laughs> trying to make a platform here. But I only have a four by one. I have one four by one turquoise piece, like plate. That's it. Like they only exist in like two sets. There's only, yeah, limited numbers of this, of this stuff. However, I do have of this color. However, I do have a whole heap of four by one bricks because I got them on the pick a brick wall at some stage. So I filled up a cup of those. So I have lots of turquoise four by one bricks. So I'm making a platformy kind of thing just to build this up. And it's also going to help hold all these plates together. It's just going to be a bit different from having our little flat floor thing happening. Gonna use these four by one tiles to hold this together precariously, but it'll do for the now. Right, so I have got a whole heap of window pieces in turquoise. I don't even know where these came from. They must have come out of a Disney princess set or multiple Disney princess sets, but they've all got the gold lattice work in them and I'm going to leave that in there just to break up all of this turquoiseness. Plus it also, it adds to the, it, it works with this kind of style, with this theme this Disney princess medieval-ish kind of style. So I want to break this up even more because I do have these four by one bricks with printing on them. They're not, that they have turquoise on them. And this is a color that also, this also came out of, I think a frozen set, like an Arendelle castle set. So it's so perfect. And to break up the lattice work, the gold lattice work, I'm just going to stick some one by one turquoise plates, plates. Yeah, they're the right words. Uh, just into the lattice work, just to make it I don't know, just a little bit more interesting. <laughs> so there we go. Plus the fact that you can actually stick them into the lattice work is kind of cool. So let's do this with the other side because we're going to match this on either side. The same thing with two sets of windows and our same pattern brick because I have just two of them. Just two. And in the middle, there's this fantastic pennant flag thing that came out of, once again, one of the... I think it was the Enchanted Forest, the Magical Forest set. Once again, Frozen set. So it works perfectly. It's just, I mean, this is just, I told you this was just meant to come together. We only have clips in this size and shape <laughs> in turquoise. So I need to have some forward facing studs. And this is all I have, this little bracket piece. Uh, that's it. So it's going to stick out a bit, but that works okay for a flag pennanty droppy down kind of thing. Put a curve bit over the top, that bit's done. Now, I also want this because it just goes really well with the castle theme idea. And I'm just trying to use as many interesting shapes as I can. So it's not a blocky bricky. Well, it is bricks, <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, not a blocky build. <laughs> Make it castly. Keep it with a the theme. Okay, so, right, that's up. That's pretty good. I mean, we don't have a lot of space here to build on, but I reckon, I don't know that I can do a throne, but I reckon I can do a bed. So if I use these as uprights, I could make a four-postery kind of bed, maybe? So this is actually 
this bed design came directly out of, I think, the second Arendelle castle, but I've just taken the pieces out that weren't turquoise and substituted them for turquoise pieces. So this will be a completely turquoise build. And it's also, once again, a bed that came from a frozen set. So it's just, it really just came together really well. So this bit I need to pop in there. So I'm gonna use that to lift that up. And then as a pillow, nice big curved piece and a couple of one by one plates to lift those columns up because, well, we'll find out in a moment, but I want to put these little, little half round bits on the top because they just finished up and make it look really, really nice. Now it's a really plain looking bed. It's not very ornamental. And I would have loved some of those scroll pieces or something interesting to make it just look more ornamental, but I'm going to try to use these corner bracket pieces. Are they called bracket pieces? I can't remember. Uh, but these corner pieces and they're just going to lift the bed up and give it a bit more I don't know, interest. It's going to be interesting like this. However, I don't know how I'm going to attach these to the base plate because they just stick it out by not a full half a half a stud. They, I don't know. Let's put these in. There's a lot of I don't know's going on here. Going to put jumper studs in and a smooth, a smooth kind of flooring bit for it to sit on a little rectangle. And then if I put these pop, if I put these on, and they're kind of hanging weirdly. I mean, Lego would never do this sort of connection because it's just so dubious, but I wanted to make it interesting. And that'll kind of do, like, I know it's kind of floating in the middle, but I want to just, yeah, just add another couple of bits in here just to, yeah, just so we don't see the studs so much. If I tuck it under the, under that V arch at the top, those column pieces, it holds it in place. Like it's, not very stable, but it's stable enough and it holds it centered in my little bracket bit. <laughs> what do you think? It's interesting. Okay, so this mat, perfect, nice, fits in so beautifully and has turquoise on it. Like the style's so good. I want another wall and I've got a perfect panel piece for that, which came out of one of the cupboards. So it's an open cupboard with all of Elsa's gowns in it, which thankfully we've got some turquoise in there, turquoise gift boxes at the top so I can use this sticker legitimately, even though it's a massive big white wall piece, but ha, huh, it's got turquoise on it so I can use it. Doesn't that just look good? She's got an open, open wardrobe on one side and I'm going to use these little upright angled pieces just to make it less, uh, it's just gonna be more interesting than if I put it straight up. That kept that wall going straight up. Now I need, I'm just trying to think how I'm gonna connect all of this. Maybe just put some smooth bits along just to finish off the top of this wall. And then if I put one on there, yeah, that's good. Maybe I should, oh, hold on, I've got those, that plate at the back there. Should I be, let me just try something, put this on. Uh, no, 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 I don't know what I was thinking. No, no, <laughs> no, let's, cause you can't see what's happening at the back. So I'm gonna ignore that cause I just don't have enough pieces. So there we go, from the front, looks schmicker, fantastic. Oh, look, I'm just so excited. Okay, so we have managed to make a royal bedroom for Elsana, the queen of Arendelle in this alternate universe. <laughs> And with her horde of chameleons. I mean, is, is two enough to be a horde? Her minions, her <laughs> chameleon minions. My gosh, she's falling off. Okay, this, see, I told you, this worked out really well, but I have made a promise to do the boombox couple. So I will do that. But look at this, two, two, hold on, two, too much turquoise builds so far. And I have plans to do at least one more. Will I be able to do it? Well, stick around and find out. <laughs> oh my goodness, why? Why do I do this? Because I love it. All right, subscribe, do all the things and check back in because there's stuff coming up soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.